Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. I'm going to do a little project today. I want to make a mobile, a portable rain barrel. And for me personally, I plan on planting a bunch of new trees around my yard, around the perimeter of my yard. And uh, front to back, it's about 350 feet. So uh, I don't want to bucket brigade my ass all over the place trying to get water out to these trees. And I don't have a 350 foot hose, no, nor would I want to uh, deal with one of those. So I thought it'd be a fun little idea. Uh, to make a rain barrel and make something that I can put in a trailer and then hook it up to my lawn tractor and just drive it out to uh, wherever I need it. Um, so for this video, I'm going to put gutters or a gutter on this side of my shed and we're going to run a hose then from that to the barrel, which we will mount in a trailer. And I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to make it. Uh, I got it planned out in my head for the most part, but of course things never work out how they're planned. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'll show you some of the parts that I have and uh, we're going to trim up these trees a little bit because they're going to be in the way. So we're going to do that. Um, everything I mentioned, all the, uh, the different pieces or anything that we use, I'll put a links in the description below or if you're watching this on my website struggleville.net, I will have links below the video. Of course they are affiliate links and I appreciate if you guys would use them. So first things first. One, this is a new microphone, and uh, hopefully you guys can hear me just all right. Two, I can't see my screen, so I don't know what it's aimed at. If you're aimed at, like, my crotch, I'm sorry, <laughs> but we'll figure this out as we go. Uh, so some of the stuff I had to buy, I'm going to use plastic gutters just because Menards had them free after rebate like a year or two ago, and I already just have them laying around. Unfortunately, uh, the parts are expensive. I don't know how much aluminum gutter parts are, but, for example, I had to buy three of these hangers for the plastic gutter and they were like three dollars and fifty cents a piece so that you know just little nickel dime crap adds up these end caps for the plastic gutters were also over three dollars a piece so we're going to mount the gutter right here to the shed and then on one side we're going to drill a hole in the bottom using one of these little connectors it is a half inch half inch and uh, you can see it already has gaskets right there so we're just going to drill a hole that uh, fits this, mount it, and then we'll attach this little, what do they even call this thing? Coupling kind of thing, uh, adapter, whatever. So it's half inch threads on one side and then it's barbed on the other. We're gonna do that same connection to the top of the rain barrel, connecting it with this hose. And um, I forgot what size it is. This has a, inside diameter of five eighths and it's a snug fit but it's not really tight i wanted that because obviously the end that is on the um the barrel the plastic barrel is going to be um, it needs to be removable i don't want something that i'm struggling and fighting with so i don't know if it's going to need a hose clamp to hold it in place but it'd be easier than struggling with a hose that was a more tight fit so we're going to do that. I don't actually have the trailer yet. Menards has a sale that starts tomorrow on a four-wheel cart, wagon, trailer, whatever it is. And it has a 950-pound capacity. I think this rain barrel 55-gallon drum full of water should weigh about 500 pounds, give or take. So the 900-pound trailer should work just fine. That's going to be $50 on sale. I don't know what the regular price is. So we need to trim up these trees. I need to dig out the gutters. They're on the other side of this and I will show you it is a mess. And there's also the drum back there, which we will look at. Um, so let's get started, right? By the way, I forgot. Um, the first portion of this where I'm going to put together the gutter and mount that and drill a hole and everything. I understand that for other pe for most people watching this, if this is a project that you're actually contemplating doing yourself, that that might not be helpful because maybe you're going to attach it to your house and you have your own home gutters. There are a couple products out there that make the first portion of this video much easier on yourself if you already have gutters with a traditional downspout. And um, there's two options. And we're going to splice to those right now and we'll talk about them a little bit. I'll show you guys a screenshot of those and some pluses and minuses of both. I didn't want this right up at my house. I liked the idea of mounting it to the shed. So that's why we're out here for this video. All right, guys, here's the first of the two options I was talking about. This is the cheaper option, but I don't think it's nearly as good. But uh, if you want to save some money, it is a way to go. So this would go into your traditional downspout. And 
it just has this little screen to catch any kind of leaves or debris that go down, and then it's got this little spout on the side that you would hook a hose up to and then hook that up to your rain barrel. And I actually saw, I don't know if it was this exact brand, but something that looked identical to it at Menards, and it just doesn't seem like it would work very well. Like, this right here just passes through completely. There's there's nothing really to divert the water to go this way. Uh, and I saw in a couple of different reviews, uh, people complained that it just didn't catch much water. And I could see why, because the spout's just off to the side. Uh, and I would imagine to clean this out, you have to pull it off the downspout. And it just seems like a pain to me. Uh, but for 685, I'm sure it's better than nothing. The one that I would get if I was actually attaching it to my gutters and stuff, a little bit more expensive at $33 right now, but the Fiskars Rain Barrel Diverter Pro Kit. What I really like about this one is, let's see if we can see a better view of it. As you can see, it comes out there at the side, and any of the debris, I'm pointing at the screen, you guys can't see that, that's funny. Any of the debris has to come around the outside. This this grill kind of pushes it this way where the water coming straight down is diverted into your rain barrel. So I just think it would do a lot better job of collecting more of the water without it just going straight through and bypassing. Also if you look at the front, this door right here opens up so you can easily clean the screen and it comes with its own valve and um, hose. So it's a whole kit. So for thirty something dollars, I don't think that's too bad. Um, too bad of a price, and I think it would be a better option if you were connecting it to a traditional downspout. So those are the two options, guys. Oh, just took my microphone. Oh, trimming trees with the microphone might be a bad idea. Okay hey guys, time for us to dig out the uh, the barrel and the gutter. Alright, so as you can see, this side's a little bit gnarly. We got some trailers or wagons in there we got to pull out. And right back there, those uh, yokes or eveners or whatever the hell you want to call them. There's a metal barrel in front and the plastic barrel in back. It's a food grade barrel that I actually just traded a guy. I got both of those for some uh, scrap metal I traded a guy. But anyway, if you go to like Uline.com, they sell them. They're $75 new, so I would recommend trying to find a used one somewhere. Uh, mine I found on the guy on Craigslist. If you look up rain barrel or plastic barrel or um, food barrel, I mean all sorts of different things like that, you'll probably be able to find one. So I need to move all those and uh, move those two little trailers out and then the gutter is laying on the ground down there if you can see it so here we go guys all right let's get some big ass spiders and snakes out here oh man look at that you can see the cable I'm on a cable! Gotta bring the camera closer. So there's our barrel, guys. Alright guys, now it's time to dig out those couple pieces of gutter. Actually, I just need one. Probably need to get the wheelbarrow out of the way first. Wind's picked up a little bit, so you might hear that on the microphone, but can't do much about that.
Hey guys, so we got the gutter over here. It's not as long as the shed, but it, I don't want to piece together another piece of gutter to make it all work. Um, we'll just see how much it fills up the rain barrel with the section that I have. I can always add to the end, and I'm going to have the downward slope going to the back, so if I have to add gutters to the other side to fill the barrel faster, I can do that easily. But I have no idea how much this will fill up with your average rain anyway, so we need to figure it out first. So if I get that flush over there, and then mount it somewhere over here, you can see this end is broken. I'm going to have to cut it off, but it's probably about two feet short from reaching over there. One thing I'm not liking is mounting directly to this one by here. The gutter is really far in, and I could see rain coming right over the edge and just completely missing the gutter. So I'm going to get a couple of probably two by fours, wherever I can find down the basement, and uh, bring this out a little bit. And then we'll attach the end caps and drill a hole in the bottom. So let's do it. All right, hopefully you guys can see. Got the gutter here with one of the end caps. I'm gonna put a nice fat gobby line of caulk on this thing. It's just some uh, clear acrylic. Uh, it was already open, so. We're not worried about how pretty it looks, so. I'm just gonna make it nice and gobby. Probably make a mess and get it all over everything, but that's all right. Bam. Slap this sucker on here. Side one done. I can't see what the screen's showing, so we're guessing. Someone's got to say how awful that is. Like, you suck. What are you doing? All right. Side two on. All right, guys. I was able to find myself a well, little inch and a half hole saw, which looks to be about the right size. So we're going to try and get it centered-ish and just a few inches uh, inside here. And it should be easy. I mean, it's plastic. Come on. All right, we got our hole. All right, guys, we got the hole drilled. I was able to find my little connector, so we can see. Just drop it in like so. Got a little gasket back here, put that on there. And then uh, thread this guy on there. All right, and there we go. That's all set. All right, guys, as you see, I got my two by fours here to kind of bring it out a little bit. Got the brackets ready to go. I'm not too worried about the slope as long as there is one. So I'm just gonna put this one up as high as I can. And then uh, just using a little inch and a quarter drywall screws. I'm sure you're supposed to use something else, but don't care. I'm going to put this one up as high as I can, and then we'll just, you know, gradually work our way down. It's in like the 80s today. It's kind of hot. And there's damn bugs everywhere that are bothering me.
This will work, right, guys? Not the prettiest thing, but got a little downward slope going. All right, guys, got my little fitting. Hopefully, you can see that. A little tape, thread wrap, Teflon tape, whatever that's called. I always end up wrapping this shit on backwards. I'm going to attribute it to being left handed, whether that matters or not. And I'm not very good about wrapping it, I just kind of throw it on there. All professional plumber like and stuff. I don't know if you guys can even see on the screen. Damn, can you guys see on the screen all these bugs flying around? Ridiculous. Alright, that's plenty. It's in the gutter. While we're talking about that, things falling in the gutter. You're going to almost always see people who use a screen uh, with these water barrels. I'm either going to get a gutter screen down the road or maybe just put some like window screen over the top of it and attach it in some fashion. I'm going to see how bad it is. I mean, obviously this is pretty easy for me just to clean out the gutter if that becomes an issue. Uh, the bigger problem for me is if it gets in the tank and then like blocks it up or clogs it or something. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, now let's get that plastic hose, slap that sucker on the bottom here. As you can see, it's not an uber tight fit, but it's on there. Um, We'll leave it for now. I might have to put a clamp on that later. But let's test it. Let's just make sure water goes down the roof. Where's that thing at? And uh, comes out this hose. You know what I could do? Hang on. I have the other end. I can put that on temporarily. And I got the little spigot thing I'm going to use. It's a, they call it a hose bib. And it's a quarter turn on off but I can put that on the other end for now just to see it work and see how things go oh shit I need that other connector Got another one of those connectors which eventually is going to be connected to the barrel and we're just doing a little test mock-up thing here. Okay, that should be off. So I'll back the camera up out of the way. I'll get a bucket of water. Let's just pour it in here and see, see what the damn thing does, right? Okay. Alright guys, I know this is a perfect rain simulation. It is absolutely 100% accurate. But So let's see. Let's see if the rain pours on the roof like that. So, Oh, look at that. It's all going down the thing. And it's leaking all over me. Son of a bitch. Too much. Too much. It's going to take longer than I thought. Yeah, I went from <laughs> putting it in the on the roof to right on the gutter. You understand. Oh, uh just so once we get the air out of this thing, I don't want to get it all over my microphone. Hopefully you guys can see. Of course, when it's in a barrel, you have the weight of all the water in the barrel pushing down on it. And that, you know, right now we don't have that, but just turn it on and there we go. No leaks! Rain barrel. Alright guys, so for this video, I'm going to wrap it up. I don't have the cart yet, so I'm going to make this a playlist. So there will be this part, and then there will be the next part where we're going to put the barrel into a cart. I'm going to try and lay it lengthwise. We'll see how it works out. I really don't have a plan for that yet. Um, we'll put the thing on one end, 
the uh, hose and then the spigot on the other and the main thing is I want to figure out how to uh, stabilize it within the cart because it's going to weigh a lot when it's full and the other thing is um, how the, the spigot's going to come out the bottom um, if it's going to hang over the edge of the cart make it a little bit easier the cart has a back on it so I might have to cut a hole uh, we'll see what we do there so hopefully you guys like this first part of the video we'll be doing the second part like I said I'm picking up the cart tomorrow so it'll be a couple days and I'll get it put together and and figure this thing out. Thanks for watching, guys.